In this video, I'm going to show you how to make Cobblemon less laggy. Now, there's multiple different things that we can do, starting off with adjusting our in-game settings. So what you can do is you can go ahead and open up options just like so, then go ahead and select on video settings. And hands down, one of the best ways to reduce lag in the easiest way possible is to reduce your render distance. So if you have your render distance all the way up, then that is going to cause a significant amount of lag. So I always suggest putting it between the range of 8 chunks and 12 chunks. That way, you're still able to see what's going on, but you do have a performance boost also please make sure to turn off vsync over here and you could also turn things off like for example smooth lighting if and graphics you could set that to fast right over here which is definitely another major benefit that you can do and where it says particles you can go ahead and turn that off and where it says clouds go ahead and turn that off as well and where it says entity shadows you want to turn that off as well so basically you will have to sacrifice the graphics of the game in order to get better performance which i know can get slightly annoying but you know what sometimes you got to do what you got to do so that is definitely something that you can do to make cobble mount run a little bit faster on your device all right so now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other things that you can do as well now for this video i'm actually using curse forge in order to run cobblemon and another thing that we could do is allocate more ram because sometimes there isn't enough ram allocated to your mod and especially cobblemon it's such a big mod there's a lot of stuff going on so basically what you want to do so what you want to do for curse forge is you want to go over here to where it says settings then where it says game go ahead and select on minecraft Scroll down and where it says allocated memory, you want to make sure you set it to however much RAM you have on your device. So me personally, I have eight gigabytes worth of RAM on my system. So that means I should set the allocated memory to 8,000 megabytes. And if you guys have been finding this video helpful so far, consider checking out our partners over at Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft server hosting where you're easily able to set up a 24 seven unlimited slot server for you and all your friends. What's great about Simple Game Hosting is that they make everything incredibly beginner friendly with their dozens of video tutorials and 24-7 live customer support where you can have a Minecraft server expert walk you through the entire process start to finish. You can also add things like plugins, mod packs, etc. all with the click of a single button and they really do make everything really intuitive to use. And at the moment, they're currently doing a sale where everybody who gets a Minecraft server gets 25% off their very first month of server hosting. So guys, if that sounds interesting, feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment. Anyways, guys, another thing that we could do is we can add a performance enhancing mod to Cobblemon. So first of all, you want to look at what mod loader you did use. So for this video, I did download Cobblemon on Fabric right over here. Now, we need to download a mod loader, and for this video, we're going to be downloading Sodium, which is actually compatible with Fabric, and if you did download Cobblemon for Forge, then you're going to want to download Optifine. So what you want to do is you want to go over here to CurseForge, and then you want to press on this button that says Add Content. Then go ahead and look up Sodium, just like so. There you go, here it is. Then go ahead and press on install right over here. And now it is going to add sodium on to your Cobblemon installation. So yep, it will say recently updated. So if we go back over here to Minecraft, then we select on Cobblemon, you will notice that sodium is right over there. Make sure that it is active and sodium is a performance enhancing mod. So it is going to decrease lag on your game and it's going to actually like modify the game files and stuff like that. And sodium is hands down one of the best options out there. But anyways, once you're done with that, you can go ahead and load back into Minecraft. All right, guys, so here we are, and you could also go ahead and select on options and video settings. And as you're able to tell, we're going to have this brand new menu right over here, and you can go ahead and adjust more things as well. But the Sodium mod should definitely help you out with the game performance. So we are literally getting over 100 FPS consistently thanks to the Sodium mod. And my PC is definitely getting a little bit older, so that is definitely saying something. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.